great day, everyone. The title of my research paper is Airline Service Performance in Compliance to Air Passenger Fuel of Rights. Just a quick background here, the reason why I chose this topic because aside from the fact that this topic really captured my interest since I had worked in the airline industry for more than five years, based on the history of our university research works, nobody has tried yet conducting the same kind of study wherein the researcher will have to focus on the three major or the three main line carriers here in the Philippines. According to Haiga, local airlines are now considered as one of the trending air access services because of its low price fares compared to huge aircraft passengers. Actually, this type of air transportation became very appealing not only to aviation businesses, but most of all, it became a great help to people who have limited finances, but is having the drive to travel. That's why um, customer service has been dubbed by many authors as one of the very important factors in the airline industry that can encourage um, current and potential customers to acquire airline services. And take note that the service satisfactions that these customers may have felt can be used as the airline marketing strategies or using the word of mouth, which can also lead to repeat business or patronage of the clients to the airlines, especially when the customers are satisfied with the airline services. However, uh, there are flight problems that the airlines are usually encountering, which leads to the number of related issues and complaints from its customers and some of the major flight problems that um, drives or major flight problem drivers are flight delays, um, cancellations, which causes a lot of misconnections, frustrations, dissatisfaction with airline companies. So that's why we need to understand that Aviation is an industry that gives emphasis on customers because, of course, airlines depend on their customers and without customers, airlines would not exist. That's why it is necessary that the airline companies must understand that passengers want their travel to be smooth, trouble-free, and secure from booking to collecting on their luggage at their destination airport. So definitely passenger want convenience and smooth process in their scheduled flight with the airline companies. However, in the present time, everyone has had the experience of arriving at the airport for a departing flight only to find out that their flight has been canceled or delayed. So in the airline industry, this kind of event is also known as irregular operations. And because of this event, uh, concerns have increased and the number of complaints relating to the conduct of air carriers has also addressed. Unfortunately, even if there are several studies about uh, flight disruptions, management, solutions are yet to come by. Um, airlines do not have any concrete solutions or best practices yet on how to address or meet the said complexities in the current flight issues, which may also affect customers' behavior towards airlines' brand. That is also one of the reasons why I have chosen this study, because I would like to keep an eye and assess the service performance of the three mainline domestic carriers in the Philippines, such as Cebu Pacific, Philippines Air Asia, and Pal Express. So, so I could also verify if these airlines are compliant to the Philippine Air Passenger Bill of Rights. But what is Air Passenger Bill of Rights? So I would just like to emphasize and reiterate just for the benefit of everyone that Air Passenger Bill of Rights is a government mandated provisions that was crafted by the Department of Transportation and Communication and the Department of Trade and Industry and was introduced on December of 2012. This provision was actually or mainly in response to the increasing 
um, number of con complaints against airlines. And these provisions applies to all domestic and international flights and to all foreign carriers operating and departing from the Philippines. This provision is actually divided into three. So we have the right to provide or to be provided with accurate information before purchase and the right to receive full value of the service purchase. But in my study, I only focus on the right to compensation, specifically on the right to compensation and amenities of in case of cancellations of flight, that is uh, section 11, and the right to compensations and amenities of flight delay and exceptions there too, that is, uh, you can find that in sections number 12. So I would like to emphasize that in this study, I only focus on sections 11 and 12, except, except flight disruptions due to force majeure. So when we say force majeure, this is an event that was caused by natural and inevitable uh, disasters that may disrupt or limit the airline to fulfill its obligations to its customers, such as adverse weather conditions. So you might want to ask the reason why. Well, because of flight disruptions due to force majeure has a different story and the compensation per airline may vary. I would also like to reiterate that the main objective of my study is to analyze and to analyze the service performance of the mainline domestic carriers in the Philippines, such as again, Cebu Pacific, uh, Philippines Air Asia, and Pal Express. Specifically, uh, I would like to sought or seek or I sought to assess the local carrier service performance in compliance to the Air Passenger Bill of Rights using the perceptions of the current and previous passengers of the airlines. And of course, to determine its significant uh, relationship to the airline passenger uh, selection behavior. So in my study, I used the descriptive quantitative research design to identify the level of airline compliance and the usage of descriptive research approach is to uh, describe systematically and accurately the facts and the characteristics of the service performance of the local airlines in the Philippines in case of flight delays and cancellation of flights. So I have conducted my uh, paper, paper survey and interview at Nino Aquino International Airport Terminal Number Three, and I have distributed the survey instrument at at various aviation colleges and um, airline offices, and that happened last December 2019 and January of 2020. And simultaneously, I utilized also the advent of technologies by using the Google Forms or an online survey, survey tool in distributing my survey forms to reach a massive number of potential participants that can be reached in a shorter period or span of time. And in this study, evidently, um, the, following, the following methods, um, I use this. So in order for me to be able to summarize, analyze, and interpret in table the main problems in my research paper, and that would be the following. So I have used the cross tabulations in frequencies and percentages, the cruz calwalis test, the wilcoxon man whitney test. And of course, I have also used the surf model which identifies the five elements of service. So this is also known as RATER, an acronym uh, which stands for reliability, assurance, tangibles or tangibility, um, empathy, and responsiveness. So, and just like what I've mentioned earlier, 
um, my paper was intended to determine the service performance of the of Cebu Pacific and Philippines Air Asia and Pal Express and its impact on the general satisfaction level of the customers. So garden, garnering uh, 221 participants, uh, the findings shows or showed that the uh, this this one so in the relations to the to the compliance level of the mainline domestic carriers to the to the air passenger bill of rights specifically about um, the no notification the notifications to the passengers beforehand of the fact of the flight disruptions so uh here cebu pacific is the most compliant with the provisions among the three airlines and then Philippines Air Asia can be inferred as slightly compliant with the same provision, whereas when it comes to the not notification with flight status updates, such as text messages, mobile calls, or emails, um, Air Asia among the three airlines is slightly compliant when it comes to individual notifications to its customers. So for my recommendations, um, I would recommend that Philippines Air Asia shall develop a system that will automatically notify its affected passengers once flight disruption has been determined. And then, for the when it comes to the in or in terms of the provisions, in terms of this uh, regulations, in terms of uh, providing of sufficient refreshments or providing free calls or providing uh, first aids to affected passengers. Uh, for 1.3 provisions of sufficient refreshments, Cebu Pacific and Air Asia receive almost similar rating with both airlines having least compliance on the level of, of compliance of the airline to the provisions of refreshments, snacks, and meals in the case of a flight disruptions. Whereas the airline provides uh, free phone calls, texts, or emails to affected passengers, all airlines are not very compliant with the statement because the majority of participants fall under the least compliant and slightly compliant categories. In terms of airlines provides first aid to affected passengers if necessary, majority of the three airline um, participants think that the airlines are situated along the slightly compliant to the compliant range. So for my recommendation, Cebu Pacific and Air Asia should consider to have a 24-7 direct supplier for the refreshments and review the passenger bill of rights uh, limitations. The airlines, number two, the airline should proactively announce at the boarding gate to its customers some available assistance that the airline can give during irregularities, like for example, free phone calls or text to its receiving family or friends at their destination. Next, for the uh, rebooks without additional charge or refund or rebooking of ticket with 30 days to trip or endorsing passengers to different carriers. So uh, first, rebooking without additional charge. So Pal Express are proactive in rebooking, reimbursing, or endorsing, endorsing their passengers to new flights on the case of a flight disruptions. However, it can be inferred that there is no guarantee of compliance with Air Asia or with Philippines Air Asia. For, for rebooking the ticket with 30 days to a future trip, Cebu Pacific and Air Asia are situated on the least compliant to slightly compliant categories, while opposite can be inferred about uh, Pal Express, the respondents express approval of its rebooking system, which included in the compliant, highly compliant range. When it comes to endorsing affected passengers to another carrier without uh, paying any fare difference, Cebu Pacific and Air Asia participants. Um, ultimately range from least compliant to compliant about endorsing its passenger to another airline without paying fare difference. So for my recommendation, AirAsia should proactively offer rebooking or refund its um, 
refund to its affected customer to prevent any further inconvenience. For Cebu Pacific and Air Asia, uh, they should work on getting alliances with other airlines to ease situations that they can no longer handle. Like for example, if there's no available aircraft, right? So in terms of um, the significant difference in the perceptions of participants on the level of compliance of the mainline domestic carriers, using the serve perf mode model, it can be concluded that um, based on the overall perceptions of the, of the previews and the current airline customer, File Express receive the highest average score in airline service performance during irregular operation in terms of reliability, assurance, tangibility or tangibles, and empathy and responsiveness. So I recommend, uh, my recommendation for these three uh, mainline domestic carriers um, is that the airlines itself shall educate and provide trainings to its employees that focuses on the government mandated policies and how efficiently and effectively it can be executed in order to build uniformity and have sufficiency in compensating affected passengers during irregular operations. And for my um, general recommendations, I recommend um, that the civil Aeronautics Board or CAB and the Manila International Airport or MIAA shall initiate a monthly uh, briefing with the airlines about the strict implementation of the bill to ensure that all airlines operating flights departing to and from the Philippines. Um, there should also be a strong campaign on the Air Passenger Bill of Rights, specifically on the right to compensations by the airlines and regulatory bodies. And the airline should consider and adopt the recommended airline process of this study. Okay, going to the output of my study, which is the airline process recommendations. Uh, by the way, the output of the study entails the necessary uh, part of what is written on the Air Passenger Bill of Rights, specifically on the right to compensation and amenities on sections 11 and 12. In case of flight delay of at least three hours and flight cancellation except due to force majeure or uh, tarmac delay that is highly uh, required and mandated by the government to be provided to the airline uh, passengers. Okay, so for this uh, output, for the process number one, this is um, an airline recommended process in case of terminal flight delay of at least three hours. So various alternative sections which will uh, definitely aid the existing process of the mainline domestic carriers in the uh, Philippines. So the process will ensure that all passengers of the disrupted flight will receive compensation adequately and promptly from the airline. And it should start from, of course, number one, uh, public announcements. And then we have the next step, we have the uh, provision of refreshments. Of number three, offering free of charge of rebooking or refund. And number four, or proactively endorsing passengers with special concerns to um, any alternative flights. For the next output, this is an airline recommended process in case of flight delay of at least six hours and or flight cancellation. Uh, this is almost similar to the first uh, process, but the difference is that when the airline has determined the status of the flight falls in six hours and above a uh, flight delay or cancellation of flights, the airline must notify its passengers through public announcement or to written announcement. And subsequently, the airline must provide uh, three various um, alternative sections that should meet the requirements of the passengers. And it comprises the following. Number one is 
the airline should proactively uh, offering or offer um, hotel accommodations. Number two is offer, rebook, or refunds of tickets. And then number three is uh, proactively endorsing passenger to, uh, with special concerns. Again, with special concerns uh, to alternative flights or to other airlines. So having said that, uh, this output is intended to improve or reprogram the existing airline process during irregular operations. Moreover, um, the purpose uh, is to mitigate and mitigate the complaints of the passengers, of the customers from um, the traveling air passengers, which may lead to further damage of the airline brand and simultaneously to change the airline selection behavior of the current and potential airline customers by having a highly compliant airline process to the Philippine Air Passenger Bill of Rights. And in different circumstances, in different circumstances, um, supposing the airlines failed to comply with the recommended output, airline customers may actually uh, proceed to file a complaint against uh, the airlines and utilize the uh, Civil Aeronautics Board or CAB online passenger complaint form, which can be found through their official website at complaints.cab.gov.ph. So the CAB program is actually intended to partner and provide convenience, reliable and safe air travel to um, airline customers. And it was specifically to assist those customers who are having some issues with their flights, uh, schedules, misleading airline promotions, and any other problems with local and international airlines. So indeed, I truly believe that the combinations of the CAB Pro Airline customer platform and my recommended airline process will complement each other in promoting a compliance to the Philippine Air Passenger Bill of Rights, specifically on the rights to compensation and amenities. Again, that's section 11 and 12 in case of irregular operations. Thank you and mabuhay po tayong lahat. Have a good day.